Welcome to Terran Silver 3. We are ramping it up. The max out timer is a little bit faster, and we're also going to start learning some basic scouting. What's up, guys? We're maxing out. Ideally, your quota is... Okay. Your quota is going to be 10 seconds faster than before. 10 seconds, boys. A 10 second faster max. Yo, Huggazerg, thank you for the five months up. Welcome back. Welcome back, dude. Go for the gold! Yeah, 10 second faster maxes is, is going to be our goal. If I, If you hit it way faster than that, just know that you're playing above your skill level with macro. It is totally realistic to max out faster than 1050. But if you hit 1050 max, that is for silver, I'd say that's good. Um, that's your quota. Okay, I think a lot of people kind of got caught up on that and they were like, why is I maxing out so fast? It's because we weren't getting attacked and we were focusing on things you should be focusing on. And that means we're, we're our, our, um, our macro is crushing. It's great. But 1050, if you can max out at 1050, you're doing you're doing a good job. Anything above that is an amazing job. Okay, so we're also going to learn. We're going to start learning walls, okay? You guys saw what happened in fucking bronze one. That was terrible. We're going to start learning walls, okay? I was going to do this in gold, but you know what? We're doing it in silver. What's going on? When we play against Zerg players... Okay, I would say Zerg players. Uh, we'll do this against all races for now. Don't worry about it. Every every time we play a game now, we're gonna do this. Your first SCV is gonna be rallied to your ramp, just like that. When it spawns, re-rally the hat the the command center to your mineral line. Additional now this SCV is gonna build a depot that connects the side of the ramp, just like that, to the wall. The next thing it's gonna build is gonna be a barracks right above or right next to the depot, depending on how you build it. You can build a depot there first, or there first. It does not matter. Don't make it a big deal. It doesn't matter. Now, when we start the barracks, we're going to just... The barracks is now started. We're going to grab an SCF at the mineral line, and we're going to right-click the Zerg's main mineral line. Just just do that. It's fine. This will allow us to run by his natural, and then it'll allow, allow the SCV to run back itself. If the SCV dies, it dies. If it doesn't die, cool beans. Let's fix that gas. Fill it up. Keep making SCVs. And now we can make another depot in a second. We're not going to make it right away, but that depot right there will make a wall. It'll finish it off. Let's go ahead and cancel our uh, SCV that was in there in production because we want to make an orbital now. And look, Zerg expanded. So we're going to make an expansion with Terran either way, but depending on where we make it is depending on what we see from the Zerg's base. We're going to either make it on the on the low ground or on the high ground. High ground expansions make more sense if the Zerg is not expanding. Because then you're going to have to get attacked and you're probably going to have to defend some shit. Command center low ground expansions make more sense if the Zerg is expanding. Because now we don't have to lift it and waste time because we're not worrying about getting attacked really fast. So, moving on. We'll talk about that more again more in more games to make sure people understand that concept. Now we're going to also talk about add-on swapping. Okay? What we're going to do is we're actually going to make an add-on on my barracks, which is going to swap with my factory because we have the money to do so. Because barracks and factories can make the same exact add-ons, and this way we can utilize time a little bit better. Grab this SCV and put them on your mineral line. Okay, we can lower our depots as well. That's fine. Let's get ready to make another factory right now. Insufficient gas. And since we're making factory number two, let's make gas number two. Lift off this barracks, or this factory and this barracks. And let's land the factory. And let's make a new add-on for the other factory. Start making units on my factories. And keep making SCVs. What's my mineral lines, look, mineral lines look like? This one's fully saturated. Rally my command centers down here and look at the mules. Drop your mules. Just standard opener here. Just... That whole shebang, you know, add on swapping and walling, boys. That's what we're doing. Now look at the barracks. It's done. Now, we're not going to do any more add-ons after this. We're just doing the first couple add-ons, okay? Just the first couple. And then we're done. We're, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Barracks is irrelevant now. Let's put this factory on the add-on we just made. And now we're going to... And now we're making tanks and hellions. 
and we're good. Let's grab an SCV and let's make a new wall. Because we're getting close to supply blocking, as you can see. So we don't want that to happen. Oh, this is circling there. Units are being rallied here. We're good. But yeah, we're... Uh, we don't want to supply block. We kind of just did. So if we if we are kind of supply blocked, if you can drop a depot, it's fine. Additional supply depots required. Keep making depots. Keep making the wall. Connect it one by one. A tip in walling is never wall corner to corner like this. If you notice how this is a corner, there's nothing on the side or the bottom of it. If you wall like that, lings can run through the middle of that. However, if you move it one to the left or one down, and now if you overlap one little box like that, that is a wall. Lings cannot fit through that. So that is proper wall placements. Let's go ahead and start a third command center because we have the money to do it. And our natural is also getting well saturated right now. And we're on tank number three right now. This is tank three. So let's start our armory to go into Thor's. We can siege our tanks. And let's also start a couple gases because uh, we're getting there. Also, right around the time, again, same thing as always. Right around the time when we get to uh, a third command center, let's just start an engineering bay. So engineering bay, uh, the, the way it'll roughly time out is like armories and engineering bays will start all, almost always around the same time. And tank number four is being started right now. And then keep making some depots. We're getting close to blocking again. And we can make one more depot here. And now we have a full wall there. That is a full wall. And with Terran, you can always be like, let's lower it. And now I can leave my base. Or let's raise it. And now it's a wall again. Let's go ahead and make a turret in each one of my mirror lines because we don't know what's going on. We're not worried about scouting yet. We're kind of taking the scouting really easy right now. And let's start making Thors and Hellions. Let's start a weapon upgrade. And now, because double upgrades are really important on Terran, let's also make a second armory. What's that, Lucas? Not enough minerals. Uh, so now we're going to uh, make a depot. <laughs> Ready to raise some hell. Make an orbital. Keep making mules. Siege this last tank. Good stuff. Let's make another command center too, because. Uh, we can keep this, the CCs running in succession, one by one by one by one. So we're still maintaining full money spending. So, and we're also going to lift this command center off, go to our third base with it. We're don't, we don't need more production yet, because we're still spending all of our money, non-stop, repeatedly, every rotation. I can't, I don't, like, making more factories right now would be a waste of my time. Because I couldn't spend it. So let's go ahead and do this now. Let's unse unseage all my tanks. Suck my whole army. Move it down to my third. And let's just grab two tanks again. Spread them out. Resiege them. The reason why we're doing this is because we're taking a new base which is exposed. So we're going to kind of cover my ass here. Let's put this guy in high impact payload. Keep making SCVs. Drop some mules. This allows us to be safe if the Zerg attacks are natural or our main. Grab seven SCVs to grab the saturation of proper, proper saturation. Send it to the third. Make a new boy. And we're good. Okay, command center is about done. Let's go ahead and lift this bad boy off. Put it down on my new base. Make a new command center. This is going to now, again, remember the old rule is three CCs are orbitals and then all planetaries. That is the rule we're going to follow again right now. This is going to become a quick uh, planetary. Let's go ahead and start a, a turret there. And... Planetary. Mineral fields are being depleted. Let's switch them over. Always mule the new bases. Every time you get a new base, all mules go to the new base. Each time that happens. Okay, so look at my money. It's getting high, boys. It's time for more factories. I can't spend it. We have all SCVs being produced, and we also have all factories being fully produced. So let's run out a few more factories. Because it's getting to that stage. Of, you know, now we're getting, you know, the money is getting crazy. SCV counts at 69. This base is fully saturated. We rally everything to my new base, my fourth base, and we're good to go. Command center upgrade complete. We can grab our factories while they're being built, control click them, shift them into our building group, and then rally them all somewhere in front of our base. Upgrade complete. Keep making SCVs. 
We're almost there. We're getting really close. New upgrades. And we're getting close to maxing out too, and we're, our money's still high, so let's go ahead and get smart servos, blue flame, building armor, building range. Make a new command center. Factories are done. So let's go ahead and make like one reactor and like three tech labs. Just keep keep a nice ratio of heavy tech lab, little bits of reactor. 75, 25, uh, 33, 66 percent ratios, like two thirds or one fourth, whatever. All these are fine. Let's go ahead and make a couple gases here. We're almost done on SVs. Let's make like one more. We'll stop at 82 and now we're good. Insufficient best gas. Okay, uh, grab some SVs off the main, What's saturate the new base. All mules drop here now. Or no, even, you know what? All mules drop here now, because this is even newer. Always drop the new base. Always drop the new base. And look at our supply. We did not get attacked at all. We got scouted, we didn't get attacked at all, but we maxed in a nice healthy time. We were maxing out. We're not maxed yet, but it's going to happen in a second here. As soon as my depot finishes. Wherever the hell I just built it. Or this command center even. And make another Thor. And we're maxed. We just maxed at 1020, basically. Which is a little bit faster than the than the quota. Which is great. If you beat the quota, you're fucking doing amazing. Now, we're about to move out. So let's go ahead and do two things. One, make sensor towers. All over the side of our map. We're going we're gonna to gap them. If you want to see how big the circle is, look at the mini-map right now. You can, okay, we'll select my whole army. So move it, uh, uh, like, Hellbats, Thors, high impact payload, A move that shit. I'll tell you the sensor tower thing in a second. Rebuild the command center. Okay, so look at the mini map really fast. Notice how there's circles? I can move the circle with my mouse. It gives you a preview as to where it's gonna be and how big it's gonna be. Just put that shit in a nice ring that's gonna cover your base. Cause it allows you to see a lot of things. That's great. How many SCVs we got? We lost one SCV. Make a new one. We're fine. We're good. Okay. Make some more Thors. Get some upgrades. And we're good. Okay, so let's grab my whole army. Unsiege the tanks. Hellbat Thors. Or Hellbats. Hellions are Hellbats. Thors are in high impact payload. And let's A move the top side of the map. Here. Here. Here, Research here, complete. here. Again, do not, do not click a fucking building when you do that. Do not click a building. And just keep doing, uh, keep expanding our economy over and over. Upkeep, needs to be fixed, four. Uh, good, good. We can send them down here, why not? It's a new base, planetary that shit. And uh, yeah, we're good. Now look at my money, it's pretty high. Let's go ahead and make some more factories. Shift click the mineral line. Get, make another command center, take this base, and now we're going to learn something new, okay? This is going to be something new we're going to learn. Once you get half the map pretty much covered in planetaries, like your half of the map, if this is a mirror, you take your half of the map. You take like half the bases on the map. From now on, these command centers we make are going to now start becoming orbital commands. Okay. Orbital commands is what we're going to start making, and they're just going to sit here in our base. And we can make them wherever the hell we want. Anywhere you have room, that's not going to really path block your units. So we can make, let's make a couple reactors, and let's make a bunch of tech labs again. Good stuff. We can take some gas. SCV count is still great. Gas. Two SCV, let's grab some SCVs and put them on these gases. We're actually having great mineral saturation, but our gas is kind of struggling, so let's make sure all of our gases are good. So gas is good, 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 not good. Put two SCVs on that, grab two more SCVs off this mineral line and put them on it. Now our gas is way better. We can even take a couple SCVs and go like this. Turret, gas, gas for the new base. And now this is way better. Okay, he's attacking me up here, so once again. Hellbats, high impact payload, and move that shit. Keep making Thors, keep making Hellions. Mineral field. insufficient best beam gas. Okay, so SCVs oversaturated. Move them. SC that's fine. It's good. Need to be fixed. Move them down here. Just move as long as you have good mining, you're fine. And again, drop mules on the newest base. 
Upgrade complete. This air command center is done. Orbital. Orbitals now. Upgrade. We can rebuild this command center because it died. Let's build a turret here. We could even build a new central tower down here because it's uh, further exposed forward. And look at these gases. We want to saturate them. So let's grab a few SCVs. Four. Four. Gas is really important for Terran too because if we're going to be making mules now and fuckloads of them, we're going to have plenty of money all day. We're never going to have money problems really. We're going to be loaded. Okay, we lost an SCV. We're at 79. Make one back to 80. We're good to go. Fix the gas up here. Just build a new one. And we can put two SCVs on the gas again to resaturate it. Let's grab another two SCVs that are going to help saturate this gas that's going to get built in a second. Wait till it builds it. And right click it now because it has a building on it. And we're good to go. Okay, so we're maxed. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Hellbats. Doors. High impact payload. Group my army up. Send it all like right here together. Just get it together. Don't send it out in weird stagnated formations. We can drop mules on a new base again. Not enough energy. And get ready to build another command center because we're about to finish another one. Shift click, click it. Shift click it into my command center group so we always we don't leave orbitals just on their own. And we make the other one into an orbital. My army is grouped up pretty well. Select all army. Go to the top base. Shift, next base. Shift, next base. Shift, next base. Field. Okay, uh, we have a lot of money. We're, we're maxed. We can't really spend it. Let's increase our factory production again. We'll get grab a couple more SCVs. There we go. We just increased our factory count up to like probably like 20 or 18. So control click all these factories. Shift control click it. Shift four. Now, now that we have all the new factories, we just control click them all. And we have them in our current selection. Shift 4 adds them in to our current control group of factories. Now we have 18 factories. All these SCVs have been shift moved back to the middle line as well after they're done building it. And now we have a fuckload of production of Thors. So we can keep remaxing over and over and over. Let's remake a bunch of Thors. Remake a bunch of Hellions. Good to go. We're almost maxed again. Now let's check my bases. SCVs need to be grabbed. SCVs need to be grabbed. Need to grab SCVs. We're, the SCVs will come back and mine that when they're done building. So that'll be fine. We can send them here. This base is open and fresh. It's still good. We're good. Okay, we just made like another, what, uh, seven factories? Let's make like three, or no, let's make two more reactors. Let's make five more tech labs. Again, tech labs are more priority than, than reactors here. Make this into a planetary. We're checking this base. We're good. One SCV is idle, wherever that is. It's here. Orbital command. Cool. Let's find another place to put a command center. Right there. Great. Doesn't matter where you put it, just don't block your units in. Always have some type of a path to get out of your base. Make some more Thors. We're maxed. Okay. Gas just depleted right in front of my face. Let's send it to a new open middle line. And let's drop some mules. On one of my newer bases. Base is all... Okay, this one has one over. This base is good. This base is needing one. We're good. Same thing again. Grab my army. We're maxed again. Hellbats. High impact payload. Let's attack the other side of the map this time. Attack this way. Shift. Attack that way. Shift that. Shift that. If we're maxed, you might as well keep sending things out. There's no reason to just stand here forever. Because we can easily keep remaking everything again and again and again and again and again. And we're just looking at our base. Good. 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 Actually, this is... Is that Thor stuck? No, it's not. It's just it's not. They're not rallied. Let's make a new rally point, like right here. Something where my guys aren't gonna get all awkward in placement. So there's our new rally point. We all our factories just right-clicked here. That's fine. But bases. This one needs to be fixed. Two SCVs. Send it here again. Now this one's perfect. Um, but yeah, we're good. We can grab our new Thors and just at this point, well, it seems like we've kind of cleared the map out. Let's just select all army and literally just aim move his base. His main base. We'll get in there because we haven't killed that yet and we know it's there. And we, I feel like we've cleared out both sides. Let's just go into his base. Do that. And now let's also fix our economies again. Send them there. We're good. Everything is looking good. SCV is done mining. Or done building. Make another orbital. Shift click it in. Boom. We're at a point now where we have... Uh, we have six current orbital commands with the 7-1 that's about to be made on the way. This is giving us lots of potential for lots of mules right now to constantly have ridiculous banks. And then on top of that, later on, as we get higher level, 
We're not doing it yet, but later on as we get to like uh, higher leagues, we can do things like start scanning creep constantly because we have so much mule, so much energy on our command centers, and we can also scout with these scout with this tool later on too. So it gives us lots of control for late game. But for now, it's just mules. Just worry about mules. Don't worry about scouting yet. It is something we will eventually get to though. Nice! Silver, two, in the bag. Nice, boys. We made it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, baby. Thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. I will, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.